2014 level 2 waves um, four credits so you should probably spend a wee bit less time on it but it still has three questions same as all the other ones question one the camera Moana is on holiday at the beach has a disposable underwater camera the camera is like a box with a lens at the front and a film at the back as shown on the diagram below here's our film there's our lens the light coming from the left going to the right uh, complete the diagram below showing what happens to the two light rays so this is looking at fundamentals here um, and you're trying to work out is it a converging or a diverging lens you've hopefully memorized um, and if not you've learned from the fundamentals how the light will refract but this is a converging lens so it's going to go through the focal point with arrows on the diagram both of them will so for a converging lens parallel light rays focus uh, converge on the focal excuse me on the focal uh, point and um, rays going from the focal point will bend parallel. Okay, they follow the reverse path B. The diagram below shows the image formed on the film when Moana takes a picture. Um, again, draw two rays to locate the position of the object. State the nature of the image, real or virtual. Okay, so um, this is the image formed when Moana is taking a picture. So if you don't have a clue at all, you can remember that you've got the film on the box and you've got the lens here. So the image um, down here would correspond to an image on there. So you would think there would be an object pointing up the other way um, on the other side somewhere and the light rays have bent over, crossed over. Okay, the cool thing about these is you can draw the ray diagrams back to front. So there's going to be a ray going from the top of the image through the focal uh, point. But remember the arrows in the opposite direction because we're going from the image to the object through the focal point refracting parallel because it, it's parallel light ray that's actually coming in and going through the focal point. The other ray you can draw, the easiest one to draw, excuse me, is, uh, or maybe it's not, but this will do too maybe, going through the optical center, there's no uh, refraction straight through the middle, I've done that so poorly, you're going to have to check on the solutions uh, um, which are also available on the website to see where it's supposed to be located. Um, and if you wanted, uh, so that where they cross over gives us where the object should be and that's your solution. But we could draw a third, third ray that's parallel ray, very poorly drawn, refracting as though it's coming from the focal length. It goes around about the same point. You'd use a ruler in your actual exam. Okay, nature of the image inverted. Um, it is a real image made from real light rays. That's actually what they're asking you. Is it real or virtual? It's definitely real. Um, and it's most likely to be diminished. Um, it's hard to tell what the magnification equals with this diagram. Okay, you can work that out in your own time. C. Minor takes another picture. Image is 1.5 centimeters high. Okay, so height of the image equals 1.5 centimeters, and it's 5.5 centimeters from the lens. So that's the distance of the image uh, being. 5.5 centimeters. Um, the focal length of the lens f is 5.0 centimeters. Um, calculate the height of the object that she's taking a picture of. Okay, so um, to get the height of the object, we're going to need something that links the height of the image to the height of the object, which is your magnification formula. So magnification is the height of the image over the height of the object. We need to find the magnification somewhere. Um, and where are we? Um, there's a couple of ways you could do it. I'm just going to give you one way. Um, we've got di and f over here, so we can use one over um, one over f equals one over di plus one over do, and we're going to use this equation um, to to find what do equals. Once we've got do, we can also use uh, di and do. Um, in the magnification formula because di over do is the magnification. So then once we've got the magnification we can put it into that formula. If we've got the magnification, we've got the height of the image, we can work out the height of the object which is what the question's asking us to do. Okay, that's probably an excellent question. Um, go back and, I'm not going to repeat it, go back and um, Follow that through if you weren't too sure, and feel free to ask questions. Email me, um, uh, physicslounge at gmail.com, um, if you're not sure, or if you want clarification. Okay, D. Uh, explain why a miner cannot take a picture of any object closer than 5 centimetres. Just got to cruise back up again. I think, yeah, 5 centimetres is the focal length. 
Um, so if f equals 5.0 centimetres, just trying to take, um, it says use the diagram below to explain the answer. If we put an object inside the focal length and we try and do a ray diagram of that, poorly done, but you can see the rays are spreading and my poor uh, writing on here with the stylus. iPad Pro, here we come, hopefully, <laughs> if we can afford it. Anyway, um, and that means we dot back to where the images, uh, where the rays appear to come from, and we're actually going to get a virtual image. So our image is virtual. Uh, virtual means um, that you're not actually getting any uh, rays on the film, or the digital camera, the light sensitive array of semiconductor material, whatever it does, the sensor. Okay, so there's no light falling on the sensor, so you can't actually read it and take a photo. Um, and that's, that's more or less it. It's if you're closer than the focal length, you're going to have um, diverging, uh, or the spreading of the rays. If you're at the focal length, you're going to get parallel rays and you're not going to get any um, light rays, uh, any no coherent uh, light rays falling to focus an image on a um, uh, sensor or on the film, um, and, but further out you will. Anyway, that's the gist of it. I think that's the last question. Question two will follow shortly.